Hey everybody, I'm CJ and welcome back to Bibles on a Budget. Today I'm taking a look at the Holman Christian Standard Bible, large print, personal size, reference Bible. And this is in black leather touch. So once again, I'm bringing you another CSB Bible. This time it is a personal size Bible and it is a large print Bible. So this is also reference Bible and this is not real leather. Again, on a budget, you're not always gonna be able to get leather. So there's that. So right now we have it in its slip case, but let's take a look at the features. So as you can see, here's the information about the Bible right there and some more, but here's the features. So if you wanna pause that, but let me just go over some of these. Smythe Stone, got a presentation page, two column text, and a paragraph cross references, so we can look at that. Uh, topical subheadings, words of Christ in red, 11.25 point type uh, font. Let's just call it a font. <laughs> topical concordance and full maps, and again, there's the actual text size. And this Bible typically retails for $30 for $29.99 USD. All right, so enough of the box or slip cover. Let's take a look at the Bible itself. Let's see if I can get this. Sometimes these slip covers are a little hard to get off. So I don't know why they're so hard, but there we go. All right, so here's the Bible. It is in, again, black leather soft. And I have to say, anytime I see anything black, love it. Absolutely love it. So here's the front cover. It's got a little little stuff on it, but that's from me. So it's got perimeter stitching on the front. Usually a lot of these Bibles that I show you uh, save for, except for, the uh, the smaller compacts from the ESV line and I think even probably one of the uh, value thin lines. But most of them that I've, I've seen has perimeter stitching from the front and on the side and on the back. Speaking of the side, or should I say the spine, here we have the spine. So you got CSB, Holy Bible, Christian Standard Bible, and Holman. So, and you also got everything stamped in gold and these little divided lines. Also on the outside, just like the previous Bible, we've got gilding and a ribbon. So gilding all around. So if you are a fan of gilding, there you go. This does not have art gilding and you will see that in a second. This is a $30 Bible made of cheap imitation leather. So don't expect anything too fancy, but most people who are buying Bibles this price, they may not be aware of that stuff. And hey, if you wanna add that stuff to your Bible, there are great tutorials out there uh, to do so, to show you how to do so. All right, so without further ado, let's go inside. So in, again, in this Bible, you have a paper paste down like the previous one and a thick cardstock paper end sheet. One thing I wanna show you real quick, if you can see this, is that inside the perimeter stitching is red. And you can see that down here as well. And if I go to the end of the Bible, you also see it there, which is super cool. I love, I love that. It's not, it's not uniform, it's not perfect, but hey, it, it's really cool. All right. So with any Bible, you're going to have publisher title page, publisher's copyright page. This is actually, according to this, this is the 2017 text. This is not the 2020, as far as I can see. My previous Bible that I reviewed in the CSB was a 2020. This is a 2017. Uh, so there's that. If you're looking for that, then well, you might not be able to get it right now in this. But keep on, but keep looking. And then you got the different bindings down here. We got the black leather touch, but it also comes in genuine leather um, and just different colors of leather touch as well. And it also comes in index in uh, unindex. I'm not a fan of that, but anyway. So over here, you have the books of the Bible and the contents, so Old and New Testament, and then you got your additional material again, introduction to the CSB, abbreviations in the CSB Bibles, where to turn, table of weights and measures, topical concordance, and so on and so forth. So again, here's the introduction to the CSB, which is basically its preface. It's 
going to kind of give you some ideas about what to expect and how to use this Bible, what some of the things mean. And then here's the Old Testament. I don't think I really need to show you guys that there is this, because most Bibles have it. If you bought a Bible, you know about it. There's the Old Testament page. Also, here's the abbreviations. But anyway, let's get into the Old Testament. So, like the box said, like the slip cutter said, this is a two-column text. This is 11.25. So, this is... Try to get it in the middle there. This is a very large readable text. It is line matched. If you look very closely, you can see that a lot of this stuff, it doesn't say it exactly on the box itself. Um, I'm not sure if the website says it as well. You can check. But as you can see, it looks line matched to me. Everything looks like it's lining up pretty good. So there's all that. So two column text. And again, at the bottom, you have your translator notes. So there you go, those little, those little translator notes. So let's again look at how this Bible looks. And again, this Bible is staticky. For some reason, some Bibles, when you get them, they're staticky and they, they stick together. The manufacturer is actually supposed to unstick them for you. I don't know why some don't do that for the Bibles they sell. Uh, but yeah, so let's go and look at some poetry here. So let's go to Numbers. So as you can see, here's some, here's some poetry. And as you can see, there is some ghosting, but again, it is line matched even with the prose sections. So that's pretty cool. Uh, there is no alternating colors. Again, super simple Bible. Um, everything is black, uh, numbers like chapters and then topic headings and such. So now let me look at the Old Testament. Let's go to the New Testament because this has something that a lot of people, well, there's not a lot, but, you know, some people are are more or less not fond of. Um, and that is, let me get there, the red letters. All right. So some people aren't fond of the red letters, and I get that. Um, I grew up in a tradition with red letters. So, yeah, so there's, there's the red letters. Also, here's a good example of... Uh, CSB quoting a Old Testament quote. So as you can see, this larger font and it's bolder, this means that they're quoting from the Old Testament. And even here, let me show you an example of the end of verse references. That is Isaiah 62, 11. So this is where they are quoting that from. So, and also it looks like it's quoting from Zechariah 9, 9 as well. Anyway, so yeah, so it is not a black letter text. Um, some of the cheaper Bibles are full-blown black letter. Some of them, like this one and the previous one we looked at, they are red letter. So if you're a fan of CSB, unfortunately, if you want something like this and you don't want the red letters, you might have to bite the bullet and go with it. So, yeah, there's that. All right. So let's take a look at the back of the Bible. And as you can see, some of those pages are sticking together because it's static and all that stuff. Like I said, the manufacturers, when they, when they bind the blocks, they should, they're, I think they're supposed to like, like wave, like fan the, the pages so that it won't stick, but it still does. All right. Here is the where to turn. So this kind of gives you like some topics when you're blue, when you're tempted to do wrong, when you face physical danger. And then over here, it'll give you uh, some verses and it'll also even give you the page numbers where they're found. So that's really helpful. So that's where to turn. And then on the other side, you get, uh, skip the page there. You get the tables of weights and measures, which is really cool. Um, because in the CSB, most of the time from what I've read, the, the CSB translates the, the ancient biblical measurements into U.S. equivalents. So it makes it easier for us Americans to understand them, but for you folks who use metric, might be a little difficult. Anyway, so on this side, you'll have the biblical unit and where it comes from, what language it is. Uh, you have the... Biblical measurement over here. So a gira is 1 20th. Let me show you that. 1 20th of a shekel. And then 
Next to that, you got the US equivalent and the metric equivalent, and then the various translations of said biblical unit. So you got weights, length right here, and then you got dry measures. So like, like you know, different, uh, like grains and stuff. And then you got liquid measures. So like, you know, drinks and water and wine and all that stuff. And there you go. And then you got a topical concordance. So this tells you if you want to learn about ability or abstinence or acceptance or so on, you have a topical concordance. And it, and it is really readable, actually. If you look at it, let me actually angle that better. Sorry, trying to film this with my phone is a little difficult here. But as you can see, you have ability, afflictions, and so on and so forth. And you'll see just the different topics and where you can find them such one that's really one that's really important these days is the second coming of Christ a lot of people believe that because of what we're seeing in the world today his second coming is very very soon so all right so this one ends on Z at the word zeal and then on the other side you have colored maps, full colored maps, right? And these these vary from their orientation. So this one obviously is landscape. And then this one is also landscape, but this one is portrait and such. So you get different ones. You get to see just, they don't give the titles of what these are, but you can just kind of see, uh, you get to see Israel, you get to see, um, I think this is this is the route of Exodus. So they do give the title here with the legend. So the legend is very helpful because the legend will tell you like what each of these little arrows and these little dots and just places mean. So if you're interested in that, definitely consult the legend. But there's the maps. And yeah, that's it. At the end, you got that end sheet. And that is it. All right. So let's do a real quick comparison. I actually have a similar Bible, but it's actually in genuine leather. This is genuine brown leather. And this one is actually a really good price. I do not have the price. I do not know the price off the top of my head, but I will put the price of this Bible right here, right there. There you go. So you can actually see what the price of that Bible is in case you actually want a uh, genuine leather one. Because some people may look at this one and be like, hmm, I may want that one because it says goat skin. Don't be fooled, folks. This is a cheap goat skin. This is not, this is not the goat skin that you're going to get with those $100 Bibles. Those really expensive ones. But as you can see, these two are actually a little different. This one is actually a little longer. Um... Actually, it's about the same. Never mind. <laughs> it looks longer from for from that angle for some reason. Um, but for a cheap Bible, for a thirty dollar Bible, I really like this. I love the accent color of the of the red uh, the red string. I'm sorry, I don't know what these things are called. <laughs> uh, the the stitching. Thank you. The stitching. So. Yeah, you can tell that I, I am not very well known in these things. I, I'm not well versed, should I say. Um, but the one thing you'll also notice here with the goatskin, the genuine leather goatskin Bible, is it has two ribbons. This one, again, only has one red ribbon. So there's that. All right, so what's the final verdict on this? For $30, you're getting a Bible that has gilding. It has a, a nice color, a nice cover. Um, still paper. I wish it was vinyl. Um, I don't know if other Bibles in the same price range has that. Has mostly paper paste down. You know. Um, but for the most part, I really like this Bible. Because I really, it is so very similar. Different cover. Um, different little accents and, and such. Uh, only one ribbon, but it's it's so similar to the Bible I just showed you, the goatskin one, the genuine leather one. It's the same block, right? And hey, um, if you're somebody who is really wanting to get a really nice Bible, and 
maybe down the line, you buy this and you're like, man, I, I saved up a little money. I want to rebind this. Go for it. I love the idea of, of buying these Bibles and then maybe down the line rebinding them. Um, but saying that this is Bibles on a budget, you know, let's put that to the side for now. Um, I really like the color. Love the black. Love the red. Uh, the text is super big, super readable. Um, love, love, love the line matching so you're not worried too much about the ghosting in there. Um, again, I am not against, you know, the, the red letters. I love the, I, I like the red letters. Um, if you don't, um, I'm sorry. Um, but hopefully, you know, if you're a fan of, of this Bible of the CSB, you'll be able to find, um, something like this for a really good price without the red letters. So, yeah. But anyway, let me, let me know what you guys think about this Bible, this size Bible. Because, again, I love personal size Bibles. I really do. They're great size. You can pop them in a backpack, um, in your suitcase for a great excursion. Small, big print. So amazing. Let me, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. And our next review, my next review will be a bum, 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 wide margin. So it's going to be a bigger Bible, but it's a wide margin. For those of you who like to write in your margins, write in your Bibles, then our next Bible will be a wide margin, so stay tuned for that. But thank you guys so much for watching this review on Bibles on a Budget. And remember, folks, the truth does not have to be expensive. Hope to see you guys in the next one. God bless.